In March 2015, Stirnerline launches the world's first vessel powered with methanol. Through the fuel change, Stirner Germanica's sulfur emissions are reduced to zero. But getting there has been a challenge. For us at Stena Line and for myself personally, I think it's sustainability issues that get me up in the morning, um, very simply. Uh, the world has seen more prosperity due to globalization over the past 20 years than we've ever done in human history before. The only problem, of course, is that when ocean transportation has increased twice the pace of, of GDP per capita, inevitably uh, we have more emissions. Addressing those emissions is not only shipping's biggest challenge, but I think humanity's biggest challenge. And of course, for us in Stena Line to be part of that and actually finding now solutions to the really big questions uh, that, that we are facing, I think is, is a huge privilege and I think it's thrilling and you can not imagine how proud I am to be here today. Converting uh, Stena Germanica to methanol is only one part of a much wider strategy, not only to address the new SECA requirements, but also to truly build a sustainable company uh, for the longer term. Uh, methanol is one uh, solution. We are looking at a handful of others, but methanol maybe is the one that we're the most excited about. Not only is it a real technological quantum leap, but also it's been very much developed by our own engineers and together with partners uh, here in Stena Line. But I want in this context uh, extend a great thanks uh, to our technical department and not least to the engine crew on board uh, who've done a phenomenal job in converting existing technology to something that is absolutely state-of-the-art and could potentially revolutionize the way we're going to run more than 85,000 vessels uh, in global shipping in the future.